What's the deal, everybody? It's the boy Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Back again, y'all. Lucky I got a video today because I am tired. Just got off work. You know what I'm saying? You know, didn't feel like work, but it's got off work. You know what I'm saying? So, shouts out to the DMTV family. Y'all, share the videos. We need to build this channel up, and we got to get this stuff in the algorithm. Subscribe. Share the video. Y'all understand how hard, it, how much and important it is to share the video. Sharing the video is more important than liking the video. So if you share it, that means you got to somebody else to watch it. Share it to somebody who you know ain't interested in this content. You know what I'm saying? Let's get these videos out. So share, like, comment, do all three, especially if you're a dedicated DMTV supporter. And if you want to support me all the way, subscribe to my Patreon. You got way, way more content dropping on there. We actually got the Chris Brown Illuminati breakdown coming out on my uh, Patreon. So y'all check that out. That's dropping next week. All right, so, oh, well, this coming week, what's today, Monday? Time just flying by, man. This whole year, it's already in the February, Valentine's Day is coming up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't so go out spending all your money. Make it, keep it short and sweet for your, for whoever your significant other is. Put a lot of thought into it. Don't go out and buy the biggest things. Put a lot of thought into it. Make it sweet. Save yourself some money, all right? We'll talk about another video. Today's video is going to be about why J. Cole never fell off. So, we got all these fall off videos. You know what I'm saying? And uh, people's calling me a hater because if you're talking about somebody falling off, it's coming off as hating. And it's all right. I don't mind being deemed as a hater. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? It's what it is. It's, it's hating. And it, it, it's, that's exactly what it is. Like, if you're talking about a dude who fell off and you ain't bigging him up, it's hating. It is what it is. I'll be a hater. It's all right. It's what it is. But um, J. Cole, the reason why J. Cole never fell off, because J. Cole actually has something that a lot of these new rappers don't have. It's called talent. Talent is one of them. So let's go with number one, Talent. When he first came out, Buddy was rapping, rapping. Probably one of the nicest out there. And he stayed consistent with it. All right? He stayed consistent with it. Number two, one reason why he never fell off is because he has the machine backing him. Y'all be thinking, oh, J. Cole don't drop singles. He don't have the features. J. Cole doesn't need this. Y'all understand that. There's millions of dollars behind J. Cole. Y'all remember two years ago when J. Cole dropped um, I don't know if it was two years ago, but he dropped those two songs that wasn't on the album. He dropped those two. When he dropped those two songs, they were everywhere. Y'all, y'all mean to tell me he did all that on his own? He said, "Yeah, man, I'm gonna go drop these songs." The label. He talked to the label. They already discussed it. He's such a big star that they pushed it behind him and pushed the money behind him and gotten on every streaming station. But like I said, J Cole has something that every other artist doesn't. He has talent and he can rap. And then he had the, he had something where it was the, um, what was that festival? Not Forest Hill Drive. I forgot what his festival was called. Like, I've never been to none of them. I'm a J. Cole fan, but he ain't in my top 10. He in my top 10, but he ain't in my, my top five. So I ain't like a diehard J. Cole fan. I forgot what that festival is called, man. I just thought about it. But he had the festival. So you get your festival behind you. You got millions of dollars, millions of dollars back in you where they send your album everywhere. The only artist I know who's making it right now without a major machine backing them is like an NBA young boy or a Chief Keef. Chief Keef definitely doesn't have a machine backing them because when your music is not spinning on the radio, your music is not spinning on the Apple iTunes uh, playlist, meaning the label isn't backing you. <laughs> when your video drop, you're not getting a billion views. The label ain't backing you. A lot of them views be bots. All right, so J. Cole does have a machine behind him. Y'all be thinking, you know, he signed the Rock Nation. Just because you signed the Rock Nation don't mean you're going to pop. But when you have a machine and they, and they see that you're worth the investment, J. Cole is well worth the investment. And his music lasts a long time. He he makes classic music. That's why I said a lot. Of, and he said it in one of his, I think it was 1985, where he caught all the newer rappers and they all are falling off right now. Little Pump falling off. Like, look at Little Pump. Little Pump had the Gucci gang, but what do he have after that? He started doing a lot of gimmicks. He started doing a lot of other stuff. And guess what? Gimmicks only get you attention. It doesn't get you respect. And you got to have respect in this game. All right? People got to rock with you. J. Cole also always carried himself in a very mature way. Look at all the greats who made it. J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake, Jay-Z, Nas. Even though I say that Jay-Z and Nas music fell off, they're still in the entertainment industry. And they're still prominent figures who still can generate money, you know? They never fell out because they always carried the image when they're out in public. There's no drunk stories of them. There's no knockout stories of them. There's no stories of them beating on women. If there is, they get covered up quietly immediately. Only person who sells off gimmicks and craziness is Kanye West. He's like the only A-lister who can sell off of crazy and gimmicks. There's not too many A-listers 
that can do crazy stuff and sell. When you're in that round, you have to be this stand-up abiding sinner. Like, look at LeBron James. LeBron James ain't got no stories of him cheating, even though y'all don't understand. Like, if you're somebody like me, you catch those stories when they drop. There's plenty of stories of LeBron James cheating throughout history, but those stories get silenced. I'm pretty sure y'all didn't even know uh, Kanye West had a... Um, uh, a sex tape out and I hope that doesn't get me <laughs> the algorithm off but he did Kanye West had a tape of him and another woman out but his lawyers killed it like I said y'all y'all miss these stories because y'all don't understand when you're in that realm you have to keep yourself into a line onto a light of being respected and J. Cole done that he never had no crazy stories he never been caught up in nothing wild he never had no female drama and his music is very clean it's not clean but it can be played a lot that helps out a lot as well when you can have clean music and the parents okay playing it around the kids. And it ain't N-word this, N-word that, MF for this, MF for that. They can play it. Don't get it twisted. J. Cole curses, but it's not as bad as some of these other songs. It ain't kill, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. And then he appeals to a wider audience. All right? So that's number four. How many am I at? Carrying the self, machine, talent, appeal to a wider audience. J. Cole music can be played everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It just ain't the streets. That's another thing. He's not a street guy. So when you're not a street guy, you're not bound to be doing this reckless stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or bound to rap about this one topic. Like Kendrick and J. Cole are not street dudes. They're not. Drake, Drake is definitely not a street dude, but he's in the top. You know what I'm saying? Travis Scott is not a street dude. Even though I don't know why Travis Scott is on, in my opinion, Travis Scott is probably top five most overrated rappers of all time. Probably might be my next video, man. On who's the most overrated? Travis Scott is definitely overrated. Going triple platinum, you know what I'm saying? And people, I guarantee you, he's gonna be dropping next year and gonna have a whole apology tour about what happened at his concerts and have all types of regulations. He'll be forgiven, you know what I'm saying? Even though I don't blame him for the little, uh, even though I feel like I, I watch Industry Hoax, y'all go watch the Industry Hoax channel, that is probably one of the best channels out, all right? But, anyways, back to the topic. Um, like I said, J. Cole. Uh, uh, he, he kept himself, uh, he appeals to a lot of artists. He just had to constantly focus on being a street guy so much, all right? So he excels in that, all right? And then his music, like I said, his music was like crack. Like when you first heard, uh, was it Simba? I forgot what it was called. I, I, the main one that sticks out in my head is Friday Night Lights. His mixtapes were fire when he first came out. And I think J. Cole came out around the time in the mixtape era. You know what I'm saying? When you can drop mixtapes and build your fan base. A lot of these artists now can't drop. They have to drop album, EP, album. And if you ain't got Apple Music, and if you ain't got YouTube and nothing like that, you're not about to be listening to it. You know what I'm saying? And they are missing the streets. That's why a lot of these rappers are missing out on street drops. That's why a lot of people listen to music nowadays. I don't really see that consistent guy taking over the streets. You know, J. Cole had mixtape drops. And his albums hit. You know what I'm saying? And he just has that, like I said, that appeal. Once you get to a fan base to where you have that appeal... You can never fall off like Eminem. In my opinion, Eminem fell off. But to somebody else, Eminem's the, the man right now. Just dropped an album, went platinum. Nicki Minaj, she's never going to drop an album that's going to flop. She has an established fan base. You have to get that fan base to where they are going to love you no matter what. For your eyes only, I hated that album, but people loved it. You know what I'm saying? J. Cole, his last album... Was all right. You know what I'm saying? It was all right, but the people loved it. Like I said, so once you get that established fan, he has an established fan base. Another reason why J. Cole uh, um, stays around a long time, he doesn't oversaturate himself. He he, he he worked really hard in the beginning. Worked really hard in the beginning, right? Got y'all to love him. Then he started branching off. Now you're feeling for that J. Cole. It's a mind, pulling effect thing. It's all, Now if you oversaturate and give him too much, we're going to get tired of you. First, he, he, put, he put out a lot of stuff. We was like, dang he, he At the very peak of his career, but at the very peak of his climax where he got hot, he stopped. Now we fiend it for it. Now he wants to hear. Most guys stop before they can get to the peak. So the peak's here. Most guys, they'll fall off or stop making music because they feel like, hey, I'm here. Nah, you got to get to that peak to where your fans are going to love you regardless. Like Kendrick. Kendrick ain't dropped in five years. If Kendrick, Kendrick knows what he's doing, the longer he waits, the more the fans are going to want him because he built up his fan base. Remember when Kendrick was first starting out? If Little Pump was to do that, nobody's gonna check for Little Pump in five years. Nobody's gonna check for for Gunner in five years. Nobody's gonna check for Money Bag Yo in five years. Cause they don't make music that's gonna resonate with the soul. <laughs> J. Cole, love yours. 
that resonated with me to the soul. You know what I'm saying? These guys don't make music that's going to resonate with you. To the, you're going to hear the song, ingest it, and forget about it. You know what I'm saying? These other guys are putting tattoos on you. You know what I'm saying? So you want to remember. Like Tupac was so big in his era. Tupac had Dear Mama. You know what I'm saying? He had Gotta Keep Your Head Up. Songs that resonate with your soul, you're going to have to remember them forever. All right? So J. Cole does that. You know what I'm saying? So there's so many different reasons on why he never fell off. You know what I'm saying? And I guarantee you, if J. Cole dropped an album right now, it's going to go platinum. Kendrick dropped an album right now, it's platinum. Drake, platinum. Even though Drake's path to staying up to the top is a little different. And don't get it twisted. I think J. Cole might be fluish. I don't know. He might be having some, some um, J.E.W.S. ties. You know, I know Drake has J.E.W.S. ties, but y'all don't understand how important it is in the hip-hop community and into the entertainment industry to have a background being a part, being in that community. If you have J-E-W-S ties or background, you can last in that community a long time. Post Malone is fluish. Drake is fluish. Um, Doja Cat is fluish. You know, Ashton Bronson is fluish. Ashton Bronson. I don't even know why he relevant. His music was A-OK, -okay, but he still can, he still is on the internet. You know what I'm saying? That, that being part of that community, I think J. Cole's mom is fluish. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, that's why J. Cole never fell off. Am I missing any of the part? Fire music, man. Fire music. Rapping. J. Cole raps. People don't understand how important it is to rap. And a lot of you guys don't want to put that effort and time in. I think he's one of the last guys who put effort and time into rapping and perfecting his craft. A lot of you guys don't want to do that. Like, nobody's going to name a Young Thug song that you can resonate your soul with. Once you're hearing the Young Thug song, it's out of here. You know what I'm saying? Future had that when he first came out. You know, with his monster song, a lot of those songs resonated with you. Future stopped making those songs, and what happened to him? He fell off. When Future stopped making Coding Crazy, Harley Harley, at the monster, listen to the, the, the albums at the monster. Did he have any songs that had any pain in it? Not many of them. You know what I'm saying? Future kind of, but we'll talk about Future fell off in the next video. So if I missed a part of why J. Cole never fell off, please put it in the comment section. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will be posting every day this year as long as God allows me, as long as universe allows me. Please, universe, let me be able to be healthy and strong and focused to post these videos every day to take care of my. Y'all be blessed. I'll be safe. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of your bodies. Do something positive. It's the boy, Dwayne McClain. Dwayne McClain TV. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe.